fun. It's been a while since I posted, but I definitely wanted to get something out before the summer. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you today was about travel vaccinations. So here's what I do, which hopefully might be a little bit helpful for you. I go to the Canadian website, www.travel.gc.ca. I um, select the country that I'm going to go to from their drop down menu. And then I look at their health slash vaccination information. So there they have all the vaccinations that may be relevant for you, okay? The next thing you might wanna consider is if you have time, so maybe if you've already planned your trip and you have about four to eight weeks in advance, make an appointment with your doctor or go to the travel vaccination and bring your yellow booklet. In that, they'll see what you've already been vaccinated against. They might wanna take, um, they might want to send you for a blood test to make sure you're still immunized against measles, mumps, rubella, varicella, which is the chicken pox virus, and then hepatitis A and B, which are common, common travel vaccinations that we can offer. Um, now, those results take about three weeks to get back to us, so do try to plan early. The next thing you might want to consider is the anti-diarrheal vaccination. You know, nobody likes getting traveler's diarrhea, so I would highly recommend that one. That is also by prescription. You would have to take a dose of it about, I think, hmm, maybe, I think three or four weeks before you travel, and then one week prior to the date again, if it's your first time taking this vaccine. And you might, might want to also consider the malaria prophylaxis. Now, a prophylaxis is not really a vaccine. It's more like it prevents you from getting the disease. Should that, you know, infected mosquito bite you, then you have less chances of getting it while you're on this medication. So that means you have to start, I think, a day before you leave. You continue during your travels, taking it every day, and then you continue a little bit after. So um, those are all the things I wanted to go over with you. There is one prophylaxis that is particularly uh, helpful for people who think they might be exposed to HIV, so who might be having unprotected sex overseas, and uh, that's the HIV prophylaxis. For that, sometimes you have to go to a special clinic, and I might do a blurb on that one if everyone thinks it's helpful. Well, good luck and have fun. Talk to you soon. Bye.